Who wants to see something very interesting? Okay, can anybody tell me why there's checks in this room? has never scared me it's heartwood friends see it's not on the other side why is it not on the other side probably because there's some sapwood over there like almost look like he tried to sand it out see how it's flatter there see that look at there's the check right there well what that tells you is that it's dry real dry so could this possibly bust off yep it could but if you want look look at the grain he's Drive dowels right through there. Two, two, two of them. I'm talking long ways, friends. You know what I mean? This way. Whew. Don't be afraid. If you like the looks of a handle and you're afraid that it's just no way. I'll, I'll run this sucker. Look at that. So again, tell me what you think would happen if we went like this. What's this stuff? It matters not to me what you use. You want to use your, your linseed? Give her. It does not matter. Use oil. Use, use, this has got cracks and checks in it all the way, all the way down. It's a, it's a very interesting handle, friends. So I happen to have some vodka on me here. And I'm going to show you a little something. You can watch with me. What, what, this is a beautiful, beautiful handle. So this now will completely stain this, watch, because we didn't wipe it. See, see that? A gentleman got some suspenders from me and I said, if they're too light for you, hit it with the, hit it with the, uh, the leather treatment we sent you. See that? Look at this. This is gonna come up gloriousness. Jimin. Yeah, see, this, this is crazy. It, it's only on one side. This is a glorious handle. Oh, it's nice. But I'm soaking. Oh, look what's happening. That's just going to drink that. I mean, I've got, I've got a better uh, way to do this. I got this thing here, friends. Watka. I just call it Watka. It's Watco. Okay. So it'll, a guy could, oh, they're already closing up. They're actually already closing up. A guy could literally soak this in, in there, soak it, drop it in there. But even still, if you're afraid that, that this is going to bust, my gosh, that's beautiful. I, uh, I really like the, uh, look at this friends. If you're afraid that that's going to break off there. Just dull and you like it. I'm only talking if you're trying to salvage a really nice handle. Just hit it with the dowel. And and that's it's game over. You you got you gotta fix right now, and it'll be stronger than than probably even before. Wood and glue, wood glue and dowel. It's a it's a good fix for these types of things. Gosh, this is a nice handle. I, I would probably do that here. Because you can see it. It starts to creep around. See that? So I can show you if you want and, and how that would get fixed. Good afternoon, friends. We're, uh, we're off to a funeral, actually. Excuse me. We've got the, the, the F-150 and me and my wife are, we're off to a funeral. We lost a, a cousin of ours, a cousin of Wendy's. It's her cousin's, was her cousin's wife. She was 51 years old, friends. Okay, 51. I believe. And, and, and cancer got her. And it happened fast, real fast. So anyways, we're on a little journey here. We'll, so we're gonna put the 150 to work and just me and my wife in the cab and uh, gonna just enjoy one another's company. This handle, friends, this dowel, I've showed it before, 
but as people go along in life, they don't really search for stuff. They, they hopefully maybe it's just going to come up again. So I'm going to show this process and it, I've done it and I've left it there for 12 hours in the vice, like I've done before and come back and friends, I, I've, I've got access that, that I use that have been doweled all over the place, different places. If I like a handle enough, like heartwood usually, I will dowel it. Enjoy this process and don't be afraid to, to do this to your stuff, any tool. I'll, I'll just show you real quick. Let's wipe up this vodka. But not a lot, we'll just let it sink into the oak here. The English oak that I got off of Bowen Road. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's too big of a drill bit. Right? Let's put that there. Now I've got a, I've got dowel here and I like this. I got a couple different sizes of dowel. I like this one. It's good size. It's, it's actually really good size, but do I need it this big? And I would even go on a 45 here like this. I'll show you what I mean by this friends. And I'll encapsulate. So what you do is you look at your cracks. You got there. Well, there they are. There they are. Can you guys see that? Which way they're going? So you can encapsulate both of them. This one, I think I would go on a 45. That one, I would probably go down there. And then I would squeeze them together like this. Because I'll bet you, I'll bet you nine times out of 10, we're going we're gonna to close this up by squeezing it. Yeah, indeed we are. Look, look what happens. Watch. See this? Watch what happens here when I squeeze this together. And there you go. See it? It's squeezing the vodka right out of it. There it goes. So that is now closed. See? Isn't that crazy, friends? So there's always a fix. Okay, there's a piece of wood right there. Test it first, friends, right? So. Okay, there we go. This looks a little small. But actually, you know what? It's not. It's absolutely perfect. Boom. It's in there. I'm going to put one right here. Okay. One there. I might even put three in this sucker. Okay. This smells like it's an old familiar smell to me. And I'm going to put one right here. Okay. There we go. Check this out, friends. This is no joke. Here's your three holes. I'll actually show you. Okay. You put her down there. It's down. You break it off. You, you can do, at this stage, you can do whatever you like. Friends, this to me is not about how pretty this can look. This is about how functional this can be for me. Okay. It's about fixing a handle. I will sand it. You know what I'm saying? I'll sand this off now. So that I know this fits beautifully. Look at this. One, two. Let's get that one going. There it is, three. It's perfect, friends. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do these three and I'm gonna actually clamp it and close it and call it done. Then I'm gonna do the back side. I can't believe how this is crazy. This is this is very nice. Now, so I'm just gonna put this right down, but we're gonna get glue in it first. This is how this goes. There it goes. Okay, get glue in there. Get glue in there. Just like this, it goes in there, it gets all over the dowel. This one, 
There it goes. Oh, okay. So here's what I do when I get to this stage, friends. Just so you know, this is what I do. It's in, right? Exacto knife. Give it a little tap, make sure we're down to the bottom. I do a snap cut. Snap. There's glue coming out the other side. Snap. Snap. There we go. Tap, tap. Snap cut. Done. Now, this is what you have, just so you're, you're, you're seeing what I'm doing here. Okay, this isn't the, where the magic happens, though. This is where the magic happens. So, so there you go. It's actually closed it up. It's already closed it up. Are you seeing this? Okay, so that's how that goes. Now what I do is I'm not going to do both because I'm putting them in on different angles. And I want this to dry. So I'm going to pick my angle. I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to squeeze it together like this. And you'll probably see glue come out of the edges, which as a matter of fact, you are. And I'm going to show you this. See that? See the glue? It's squeaking out of the edges. And that dowel is going to take care of that end, end grain right there. You can barely see it. Look at that one. It's wide open. This one is not. So that's it. That just sits there now for about 12 hours. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll do the other one. Oh, friends, here we are. Look at this, Dad. I put a... I'll show you what we've done, friends. So you, you saw the first of this, but you didn't see the end of it, friends. So we're back on this handle, right? The one I I put uh, dowels in, friends. I got Dad here. How you doing, Pop? I'm doing great. Good. Going to Mama's for supper? Yep. Oh, nice. Okay, friends. So I'm over at... Hi, Mama Nana. Mama Buckins. Mama Buckins. All right, let's do it. So, friends, this is a, 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 an old, it's not a trick. This is actually a woodworking craft that many woodworkers do. And it actually, believe it or not, I've done it quite a few times on axes that I still use to this day. And this is, <laughs> this is surprising to me because you think you, you, you've got a crack. You think to yourself, well, that's it. It's never going to be strong again. It's the opposite, friends. It is, it's the opposite. Look at this, I'll just show you. So you guys saw what I done. Look at that, that is absolutely phenomenal. Is there you, a crack in there? There was, Dad, just like that. Oh, okay. But it was right there, see it? No, I so see. I, put, yeah, yeah. I put dowel in it. Yeah. Drilled yeah. holes and put dowel in it. Well, that'll be stronger now. Well, that's what they say. Yeah. There it is. There she be, doweled. Beautiful. Yeah, solid. And and you can see, friends, if you look in the light, see the chuck? It's almost gone. Look at that. So don't be afraid to use your doll. I may do one there, I may not. Not sure. Friends, good morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Glad you're here. As you can see, we're lots on the go right now. Spring's here. We got projects in the house. We got all kinds of stuff on the go. But that handle I've had for a while and wanted to fix up. And I urge you to use that, that technique. You'll love it. I think I can. Ah, okay. I got to move some. Yeah, you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I see. Okay, go, uh, yeah, right, right there. Let's okay. see if it'll work. Watch your hand. Well, don't forget about that little trick, friends. If you snap a handle, even like, like, you know, like crack it all the way up the shaft, you can put, you can totally fix it. So don't forget about that one. That's a good one. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching. We're going to this celebration of life and I took this Ford F-150 that I purchased a couple months ago. I'm putting it to the test and I got to tell you, friends, <laughs> Ford's done a good thing there. But I will tell you this, I'm going to have some, some good information on this truck. This is the first kind of long journey I've, I've had it on. 
and uh, where you're, you're sitting in the truck for a long time, which isn't really good for me in, to begin with, but I'll have some interesting information on the tranny and what modes work better, I think, on like long upgrades and stuff like that. I'm really figuring this truck out. They've, they've done a good thing here, friends. Honestly, I mean, you know what I'm used to driving. So when me and me and Morgan took that old Myrtle across, I mean, it's just a different world completely. But anyways, if you're if you're going through a time in your life right now, friends, where you think you might have been handed the short end of the stick or, or things aren't maybe where you think they should be. I just want to remind you at the end of this video that they are right where they're supposed to be. I know it's difficult sometimes. I know it is. But it's the, the resilience that, that the human spirit has and it was born with. We were born to survive. We're survivors. So it's these times you will look back on and that's where gratitude comes from. When you can look back on a, on a war, so to speak, or a, or a trench you came through and you'll look back on it and you'll think, yeah, we done that. So that means we can do it again. So you young fellas out there in your 20s and 30s, 40s even, there's lots to come and there's lots behind you. Keep going. Look for gratitude in every situation you can. It helps me. Catch you on the next one. Work hard, be honest, and be kind, friends. Thanks for being here.